So we have an executable here. <laughs> Maybe my caffeine's wearing off or my enthusiasm is just waning a little bit because like I'm just like totally pumped to get started and share all this with you. And, and now it's like, OK, let's settle into the pace for the long race. So we have an executable here and you think, well, we should be able to run this executable right from the command line. So if we go over to terminal and if I take a look, where am I at? I'm actually in that place right now. Users, Todd McLeod, go code to Ben. Users, Todd, users, Todd McLeod, go code to Ben. And if I say what's in that folder, there's hello. So if I type in hello, nothing, not a zilch. <laughs> it didn't run. Why didn't it run? Well, watch what happens if I type in this. Go code to forward slash bin forward slash hello. Hello world. So I just ran the binary. I just ran that executable. And uh, why did it run when I when I typed in this, but it didn't run when I was already in that directory and uh, and I just typed in hello. And the reason for that can be explained very well <laughs> by Stack Overflow. Unix will only run commands if they are available on the system path, as you can view by the path variable. Executable is located in directories that are not on the path, cannot be run unless you specify their full location. So when I specified the full location here, right, that executable was able to run. Uh, so in your case, assuming the executable is in the current directory you're working in, then okay. So anyhow, so if you want to run it, you got to specify the full path or, or you need to set uh, it to the system path. And that's part of Unix. That's not part of Go. And so here is a, is a little chunk of code from that one video. And I know I'm just bouncing all over the place. But this video here, screencast, I kind of made notes of all of it just to help my students out. You know, and to understand it myself too. I'm always learning. And, um, and here is the code, right? Like, so if you add this to your path, and on Mac, right, a Unix machine, and uh, and then and then just type hello, it should run fine. Because as we learned right here, Unix will only run commands if they're available on the system path, as you can view by the path variable. So let's try that and then see typing in hello if that fixes it for us. So uh, I'm gonna go again to my terminal and uh, and I want to change my path variable. So first of all, let's look at the path variable. And this is my path variable right now. Right, and so to edit that path variable, I don't need to edit the bash profile. The path variable actually, once you use export on it, it will uh, it will stay, and you change it, it stays to the way you change it. So I'm going to export a path, and so I'm changing the path variable, and I'm going to set it equal to. And the first thing I'm going to add is uh, home, right? Go code two, and then forward slash bin, and then at the end of that, what's that dollar path thing? Right, and let me just give myself a little bit more room here. At the end of that, what is that dollar? Uh, I want you to be able to see all that code. So I need to actually shrink this down. There we go. And now we can see it all. There we go. And so here's export path home. Let me line it up a little. Export path home, go code to, and I've got a new folder, so I'm calling it that. And then it has dollar path. And basically that says, okay, I'm going to take the variable path and I'm going to set it equal to this. And then I'm going to add to that whatever was already in path, right? So it's, uh, you know, taking this variable and just adding one thing to it. All right, so I'm going to press enter. And now when I do my echo, uh, echo path, I could see here that, you know, I've got this new thing that I've added right there. And if you compare that to this one up here, if you want to do that, you're welcome to. You won't find that up there because I just added it. So now let's just go back to my bin. So what working directory am I in? I'm already there. And if I type in hello, cross your fingers, this is the moment of truth. Let's see if uh, what we learned about Unix over here on Stack Overflow right here is actually true, that it will now run since we have it set in the path variable. Woo! Wow, that's awesome. All right, so you're really starting to figure some stuff out about Go. And the reason I'm referencing back to this one training or this one video, this screencast, is because if you watched it, there's some stuff going on which might not be totally clear. Like why exactly is this guy setting that here and why does that now work and run it? Whereas before it wouldn't, but if you did this, it did. So uh, I just wanted to take the time to sort of elucidate all that. And, uh, and show you some of the nuances. And now I'm gonna give you a little bit of a review. Um, actually, I'll do that in the next video because this one's already four minutes.